evolution of the AI technology. The major advances that were made in AI took a very long time to happen. It was not happen happened overnight. Okay, these changes happened over a very long period of time, starting from 1956 when it was started. Now we are in 2020, 70 years somehow passed, and now we have achieved something in AI. So these changes can be best summarized as waves. First wave, that was the time period from this time to this time came the first wave, which triggered the innovations in AI. So there are waves of technological advancement. When we talk about wave of technology, we mean any new innovation, any new thing which came and which triggered the development or research in AI or a technology which was which was widely accepted which was widely dispersed so that is taken as wave so any new thing which came in the market which triggered ai research or a new thing which became very popular so these waves had a very huge impact on all the industries these waves were uh, used the, the, the topics the technologies that came they were used by lots of people the first wave. The first wave came with the advent of the internet, the coming of the internet. And uh, this is known as the first wave because it started AI research. The main use of internet was that it gave us the data. Artificial intelligence is data driven. Everything we get in artificial intelligence is mostly based on data. So it allows generation of data by the people the users we create and generate very huge amount of data using internet they were able to collect this data at different cloud spaces or internet or server and they were trying to use the data so the data which is very important in ai came in the first wave because of the coming of the internet in the first wave the internet was restricted only to computers and that is why not more than 20 or 30 percent people were using internet so that was a big problem that no uh, not many people were generating data so the second wave came with the mobile technology this mobile technology has made rapid strides in these past few years coming from the 3g to 4g and then now 5g mobile internet is regarded as the second wave because it helped anyone everyone to generate data nearly everyone has at least one gadget one mobile phone or one device that runs on mobile technology so and the use of this technology is also expected to rise exponentially in the coming years coming with the 5g this development in mobile technology has transferred the focus to real-time data previously in the first wave we were getting the data but that was not real time data means at the same time we were not getting the data so at the same time all across the world we are able to get the data at the same time so suppose right now i am in gaya and someone is in us he is working on facebook so both are sharing some data and that data can be processed at the same time at the real time using AI machines. So at the real time, at the same time, they can give the result also. So this will mean faster processing speed. The companies will be able to make smarter apps and smarter variables. So this uh, rapid change in technology with the mobile technology enabled us to share the data instantly at the same time. Right now, suppose I am using a wearable a smartwatch so I can share my real time data at the same time with my mobile phone because of internet. Third wave, third wave is the wave of the internet again. But here, instead of saving the data in our computer, now we are trying to save the data in the cloud space. What is the benefit of using cloud is that suppose if I save my file on the internet, so I can retrieve it whenever I want, wherever I want. But if it is in my computer, suppose I, uh, I forgot to bring my computer to the school. 
so i will not be able to get that data one more thing i cannot share the data if it is in my computer and if i do some changes then i will be sharing the same file again to the people then they will be able to get the editing that i have done but if it is available online whatever editing i do will be available to all the people that is the benefit of cloud for example i just shared some questions on basics of python with you all instead of saving it on my computer i saved it on the cloud i saved it in the uh, microsoft windows cloud space that is provided to me so now if i will make any change in the document you will get notified you will know and it will be easy for me to do change from here either from home or from the school so the it domain has changed so much business houses and so many people are now moving towards anchoring their operations in cloud environment means on the server so cloud is increasingly being used to provide services for both public also means government is also using it we are also using it and private networks means these networks which are restricted they are also using it so the network which is able to all public network they are also we are using government is using we are using everyone is using and private networks they are also using it in brief we can say that software is no longer stored on the computer of the organization or any other individual but it is now saved on the internet now with the coming of one more technology that is internet of everything previously it was internet of thing iot iot means that the sensors were there in every device and all the devices were connected using that sensor suppose my smart watch my mobile phone my tv my ac everything was connected through sensors and these sensors were sharing the data now with the advent of internet of everything a very big development has happened in the field of ict information and communications technology a number of products that we use now like toothbrush shoe watch refrigerator everything is now getting directly connected to the internet via sensor so previously it was only set to electronic devices but now we are using everything so for example a smart watch will not only tell you time now it will regularly monitor your heart beat your sleeping pattern your workout your calories burn everything and so many other thing it can play music also using your mobile phone so we can say the third wave is the wave of the cloud the cloud space the server space fourth wave artificial intelligence is another arena another area which is likely to witness very fast paced technological evolution means changes means that's why we are we are teaching also this topic because it is going to be a big topic in future smartphone social media feeds video games even google search google map all of these are running on ai so this is the fourth wave the fourth wave is actually the ai wave it is increasingly being used to collect information ai is now used for collecting information like location your age your personal details your preferences your buying habits everything and thereby ai is able to suggest you so many things the development of ai has helped one more thing that is creation of robots and ai systems robot was restricted to assembly lines only in big factories they were used to assemble cars and assemble devices but now robots are being used in space exploration program nasa is using them in healthcare sector we have the robots we have robots in the automobile industry they are driving the car and so many things in the near future might be we will be getting robots delivering home products to our home and might be they will be used for domestic security means those watchmen are going to go and we will be having the robots guarding our homes what are the possibilities that are opening up with ai 
artificial intelligence is all set to make rapid advances in the future but it means it is going to make very big changes in the future now ai is spread across so many domains in law it is being used science political science economics we are using it it is likely to pervade warfare and it has pervaded warfare we have autonomous weapons autonomous transportation is also going to get affected means automatic car automatic trucks education we have ai now in education and space exploration we will have robots so it has pervaded every area every area we have ai based systems so what are the futuristic applications of ai and what are the things where it has pervaded so some of the applications that uh, we can know autonomous transportation in the starting we saw the autonomous car from the google company now we have autonomous truck also ai guided transport system system that works on ai it will become a reality it has become a reality now in so many countries tesla is making it a reality the algorithms which are designed to enable the machine to learn from the human input means called expert systems will be very useful here that these systems after learning from an expert driver will be able to drive the car they will be able to uh, systems will be able to operate smoothly and efficiently the self driving vehicle will not only be used for ferrying passengers means this four wheelers in future we are also going to get ships with uh, robots uber recently acquired a company that is otto a startup which is working on developing driverless trucks so in future might be we will be having trucks driven by robots or driven by ai based systems so ai is everywhere ai is empowering the education sector also ai and machine learning are altering the educational tools nowadays educational tools for example teaching tools are created using ai they work on ai so these tools and institutions are reshaping the education sector for example previously we were taking mcq based questions mcq based test nowadays using those mcq we can predict we can check that where the student is lagging the teacher is not going to check the ai based system will check suppose we have 30 questions and 30 questions are from six chapters so after giving the test the ai will tell that oh this student is lacking in this chapter so instantly you will get the information no need of checking by a teacher so this technology has pervaded the education sector it is helping them also so it is being uh, already being used to develop tools that will help develop skills testing systems are created i just given example of testing system ai can also be used to accelerate educational research and they can provide educational uh, people wider access we all know that google operated its first autonomous car i just let you see the um, video of that car also without steering wheels without pedals in 2015 Apple is a company sorry Google is a company which is part of the Alphabet Incorporation Alphabet is the biggest company and this is a parent company and other companies are just operating under it so Alphabet is the big company and Google and so many other companies are operating under it when we talk about agriculture and farming we saw one example in the previous chapter also where AI based systems help the farmers of Colombia So to boost crop yield farmers are turning to ai powered systems to get the exact health of the plant using computer vision they can take photo of the plant and the machine will tell that where it is lagging what is the disease what is what is the health of the plant and they can monitor weather also using ai based systems robots are increasingly being used in agriculture autonomous tractors which can run on themselves without any driver drones are increasingly being used across the world for harvesting 
enhancing the productivity in agriculture and boosting crop production for example there is a company blue river technology it has developed a robot called see and spray it uses computer vision to monitor every crop and precisely sprays herbicides only on weeds without causing any damage to cotton plants so now instead of human labor we are using the ai based robots and these robots are precisely putting the weeds only putting the herbicides only on weeds the use of this robot has cut down the expenditure on herbicides by the farmers by 90% so these are the places where ai is helping now if we want to work in ai field what are the skill sets which are required for jobs in ai see artificial intelligence has pervaded our world every industry automobile industry education industry farming industry every industry is now getting touched by this technology what implies that the industry will need a skill workforce to work on ai to create ai based systems to test ai based systems and to implement ai based systems all around the world crores and crores of jobs are going to get created in this ai field so if you want to work in this field you will get very huge amount of money as salary but what are the skill sets that you need to possess so these newly created jobs will require two types of skill nowadays if you want to get job in any computer science field you need to have these two skills soft skill and technical skill the technical skills are specialization in any programming language mathematics machine learning algorithm but soft skills are the skills which are needed if you want to work in a company good communication skill team spirit creativity empathy good company uh, good critical thinking skills good problem solving skill these are soft skills which are needed to work in any company now soft skills include a wide range of skills for example interpersonal skill communication skill team spirit time management skill listening skill these are the skills which are needed now if you want to work in a company soft skills are very important very crucial might be people are excellent with technical skill but if they cannot work in a team if they cannot manage a team if they cannot communicate their ideas if they don't have good knowledge of english or any language that is used there they will not be able to work for example Finland is a company is a country where so much of software jobs are getting created but still they are not getting software personnel they give very huge amount of money as salary but still they are not getting Finland Sweden they are not getting people to work for them the main problem is communication they don't use english they use their own language uh, that is finnish or swedish and that is why so many people who don't know swedish or finnish they are not able to work for them so communication skills are also important so you need to know language or if you are not able to manage your time properly you not be able to uh, get the most out of you so you will not be successful at the workplace if you want to be successful you need to have critical thinking skill team spirit time management communication empathy creativity good listening skill these are all needed now next is the technical skill that you need to possess if you want to work in ai field artificial intelligence is a very scientific field some vital technical skills that are required if you want to pursue a career in ai are you need to have a good understanding of programming languages which are used in ai a good knowledge of a programming language is required to write code for algorithms then only you will be able to develop smart systems now python is the most popular programming language for ai very easy to learn and very easy to implement it has a very rich set of libraries 
that you can use for data analysis like Hadoop, Hive, Spark. Some other programming languages which are also popular in AI are Java, R, C++. They are also used. So you need to have a good knowledge of any one programming language, either Python or any other like Java or R. You need to have a good understanding of machine learning algorithm. When we talk about job in computer science, we talk about knowledge of algorithms. Algorithms are the backbone of any software. Likewise for AI also it is the backbone because machines will be able to learn because of machine learning algorithm. These algorithms actually decide how a machine will behave. Algorithms are actually instructions given by you to the computer. So you will instruct the machine to work. So how the machine will work depends on the algorithm. So algorithms are actually a step by step instruction. That instruction is later converted into code and based on that code, the computer or the AI based system will work. So you need to have a good understanding of machine learning algorithm. Maths is very important. So you need to have good mathematical skills. Some jobs in AI, for example, data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, you need to have a strong mathematical skill because various branches of mathematics are very helpful to learn machine learning. For example, you need to have a good knowledge of probability, statistics for data analysis, algebra, calculus and logic. Next is understanding of applied research and data science. You know, AI technology requires collection of data, analysis of data and using that data, they try to identify patterns and draw some result or conclusion from that. So you need to have some technical skills such as data analysis, data mining, data modeling. For that, you need to have knowledge of some big tools like Hadoop, Hive, Spark. These are the tools which are used to work on big data, very huge amount of data you can work using these tools like Hadoop, Hive or Spark. You need to know how to save data. Apache Hive is a data warehouse system for saving the data, data summarization, data analysis. And for querying large data systems, you need to have a good knowledge of the open source Hadoop platform. Now, if you have these four skills or any one of these four skills, you need to work in any company, then what are the job opportunities for you? Artificial intelligence is now creating a plethora of job opportunities. So many job opportunities are getting created. Some of the avenues that open up with AI are you can be a machine learning engineer. If you know ML algorithm, machine learning engineering is a very demanding career in AI. The machine learning engineers actually design AI based models because they know the algorithm. They can create the algorithm and based on that algorithm, the models will get created. The skills which are required for this job are strong knowledge of programming languages, for example, Python, Java, R, a strong mathematical skills, especially probability and statistics, in-depth understanding and knowledge of algorithms, good knowledge of algorithms and applied mathematics, problem solving skills and analytical skills. These are some soft skills which you need to know. Data scientist is a very big field. They work on data, the huge amount of data that we create using Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. These data are recorded and then they are analyzed to give input to the companies, those who want that data. So data scientists actually determine how data can be used to achieve some business goal. Suppose uh, the Zomato companies asked to give data about the choice of the people, what the people of Gaya are asking it to deliver. Based on that, they are going to start some restaurants. So the company will give this data to a data scientist and then it will ask him or her to show the result. So here data scientist comes, they develop algorithms that enable the collection of data 
analysis of data and then cleaning of data also. The extracted data that they get is then analyzed and then interpreted to create action plan for business growth. Like for example, Zomato created, gave this data. So now they, they can plan the future. Data scientists need to have good knowledge of big data platforms like Hive, Hadoop, Spark because they are working on them. They should be having good knowledge of programming languages like Python, Perl, SQL. SQL is programming language for data analysis. They need to have good knowledge of them. Business intelligence developer. This role is direct role in a company. Suppose Facebook company. So they will not give their data to any outside company. They will employ business intelligence developer. So he is also somewhat a data scientist having good knowledge of management. He has done MBA. So his primary objective will be to design, develop and maintain business intelligence solution for existing company within the company. So the role is like a data scientist, but they are not giving it to any outside person. They are asking the person inside the company to do the job for this so that they can increase the profitability of the business. So the role of BI developer, business intelligence developer is to analyze that data, that complex and large amount of data. And then they are asked to provide information about the market trend, where what people want using that data in order to take their business to the right level in order to take the right decision. BI developers means business intelligence developers need to possess very strong technical and analytical skills like they need to have knowledge of Hive, Hadoop and Spark. They need to have knowledge of programming languages like Python, Perl, SQL, R. Research scientists. These research scientists are those who are creating new AI based systems. So these individuals are expert in multiple AI discipline. They have uh, applied knowledge of applied mathematics. They know machine learning. They know deep learning. They know so many computational statistics. They move beyond theoretics. They build innovative new things in the market. Innovative, practical and robust solution for the real world problem in different areas like healthcare, business, traffic management, everywhere they create some new things. They are the person who will create a new thing in the market. Now next we are having big data engineer. We need data and for that we need big data engineers and architects. They actually create those tables, those frameworks where we are going to save the data. Very huge amount of data is there. So how we will save the data? Basically, we save data in the form of table. But nowadays, we um, in big companies, data is not getting saved in tables. They have a different method of saving the data. So this method is basically conceptualized by a data engineer or architect. Big data architect actually conceptualize and visualize data framework. How they, they will create uh, the boxes for the saving of the data and big data engineers actually build and maintain those data framework. So architect is actually creating the layout of the building and engineer is actually creating them and building them and maintaining them. So they create and manage data infrastructure and tools for collection of data, storing of data, processing of data and analysis of data. So they are experts in using the best solutions to analyze mass data quickly and accurately to get the result that we want so that we make strong and correct business decisions. Big data architects much have good knowledge of data architecture, how data is saved, how data is created, collected. They need to have good knowledge of data working platforms like Hadoop, Spark, and they need to have good knowledge of programming languages like C or Java or Python. Some popular AI companies which are working all across the globe. 
so this ai has become a reality so many companies are working on it so what are those companies we just we will just get the names of those companies ai is all set to play a very big role in the technological advancement in the future some of the big companies who are knowing this all across the globe all over the world they are investing hugely in ai the companies that are hiring top ai talent and they are paying very much are amazon microsoft accenture intel wells fargo cyber infrastructure samsung lenovo google tesla these are some big names who are employing the people who are having good knowledge of ai based systems so our chapter is complete now